The greatest leaders in history have influenced people. They influenced how they lived, how they acted, and at times, even how they thought. These leaders can and have had a great impact on not only the past, but what is happening and how we live today. These leaders, however, influenced people from the outside in, with their speech, their ideas, their example, and even their presence. They moved and motivated those around them, often stirring them to action. Jesus influences people and history as well. However, Jesus goes much deeper. He influences us from the inside out. Though he calls us from the outside through the voice of the church, the actions of his providence, and through the example of his faithful disciples, he unites himself to us so intimately that his very life is in us. He tells us in today's gospel, I am the vine, you are the branches. We might wonder, where does the vine stop and the branches begin? Their union, their unity is so close that it is really impossible for us to tell. A union so complete bringing both seamlessly together. The same sap running through each gives life to both the vine and the branches. Just as grace is God's own divine life flowing through Jesus into each one of us. In this way, and in so many others, Jesus Christ stands alone among the great historical figures. Not only does he outshine all other historical figures, he is on a completely different level. He is a leader, but he is also, and most importantly, the Son of God. As followers of Christ, we should be grateful that he has made us branches on his vine. We are branches on the vine of the Son of God. And yet, as human beings, we are a unique kind of branch, and we must make sure that we keep ourselves united to the vine. If we don't, Jesus tells us that we will not bear fruit. We will wither, die, and ultimately be burned. So we ask ourselves, how do we stay united to the vine so that we can bear fruit and share in the promises of eternal life? Jesus himself tells us how we can remain in Christ and remain good and healthy branches. First, through prayer. Staying united to the vine means constantly growing in our life of prayer. Prayer is how we let our souls receive nourishment through exposure to the divine sunlight. Just as plants need to receive sunlight for life, we too need to expose ourselves to God's truth and love in prayer. Perhaps through reading and reflecting on sacred scripture, or in speaking with him through conversation in the quiet of our hearts. If our prayer is the same at 50 as it was when we were 15, then maybe we need to increase our exposure to God's divine sunlight. Second, to remain in Christ, means making good use of the sacraments, especially the sacraments of the Eucharist and confession. If a branch is damaged in a windstorm, the gardener knows how to tie it up so that it can reattach itself to the trunk of the tree. He binds it back onto the vine so that it might have life again. That's what happens in confession. Jesus renews the connection with him that our sins have damaged or broken. In the Eucharist, our union with Christ is strengthened more powerfully than at any other time. We receive an influx of grace because Jesus himself is truly present in the bread and wine. If prayer is the sunlight we need, then the Eucharist is the rain, refreshing and renewing our souls. Every time we receive the Eucharist, 
It is an outpouring of divine life into our hearts and our minds. Prayer and the sacraments are what keep the Christ's sap, God's grace, flowing and nourishing our lives. When all of these come together, we become the branches of the true vine, and we will bear much fruit in his name. We will bear fruit that will make our lives the best they can be. We will bear fruit in a life that has meaning and energy, a life that has a positive impact on others, while radiating joy and happiness. Our life becomes one that can change the world for the better, just as Christ's own life did. And each of us will have a life whose meaning and impact will bring eternal happiness in the heavenly kingdom. This is what God wants for each of us. This is why he sent his only son into the world. Bearing such fruit makes life worth living, eliminating the dry, dead branches that prevent us from uniting ourselves to Jesus the vine. Let us thank God from the depths of our hearts for uniting us to the vine of Jesus Christ. And let us promise him that we will make a true effort to do our part to protect and strengthen our union as branches to the vine of Christ.